I think uh, there's a multifaceted approach when it comes to hand hygiene, and so there are compilations of both text and images, but the method that we used of using bacterial images specifically in congruence with ATP meter readings has not been done before. We did rounds on units and we cultured high touch surfaces that m most healthcare workers touch on a daily basis, like doorknobs in the um, keyboards of a computer, a mouse. So we used those cultures and we took pictures of them after they were in the lab and cooked. Um, and then we form that into a booklet and we use that booklet as our tool to educate healthcare workers on what actually might be on their hands. Besides the obvious increase in hand hygiene compliance was that we were able to help healthcare workers link what the actual visual look of contamination is that we're constantly telling them about to what they're actually doing in their practice and why hand hygiene is so important. When I saw these images I was really surprised. I don't think I expected to see that much bacteria and it really brought it to life for me and I think that was the effect that it had on everyone in this study. Oftentimes we would have them wash their hands, take the meter reading again, and then we were able to show them that truly washing your hands does decrease the amount of contamination. I think that our take home message was that a picture speaks a thousand words and even though you might not see something, it is there and I think that this study brought that to life.